Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today, um, I got a new microscope um, the day before. Sorry for not bringing this up. Busy. So, um, let's open it up. Basically, before we open it up, let's check the back. First of all, this microscope has three mag magnifications. 100, 200, and 450. And plus, this is only for... 8 and up, which I am basically 11, even though I don't sound like it, or I don't know. But this product contains functional sharp points and sharp edges. So it is what it looks like. It's not a ripoff. I didn't get this from Goodwill, yada, yada, yada. I got this from that five below. Let's unbox this. You see me? Okay. So, basically, I'm going to start unboxing it right now, even though it doesn't look like it. So, here's the cover. Here's the back, just like I showed you. Um, It's not jacked up. It's just Linux, you know, basically. Got a little too hyper. Ugh. Dang thing went open. Wait, probably the other side. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so basically it comes into a styrofoam. No. Casing sure? that. I barely do not want anyone to touch. So here's the microscope. As you can see, the microscope has an adjustable lens. When I came in here, this thing was a cap and I didn't know. Until I took it off, I'm like, that's a cap! And then we have a functioning light switch at the bottom. The basic stuff. And then you have one that that is spring-loaded and one when you you can pull. Basically, to set up your rhythm of what type you need. Okay, glass shards. Um, they come into this little container, and there's a. Sh there is a. Wait. Okay, it's still filming. So basically, it comes in this little container. Um, it has seven blank slides and one prepared slide. So this is basically a non-powered one. Well, it is a powered one. It's just basically... <sighs> so you have the slide right here. These are little hairs. I don't know what they are. So basically, you want to set this up like so. You want to get this one in. And then you want this one. Basically, you can adjust this however you want. I wouldn't recommend doing that to mess up your pose. I leave it back because it is spring spring loaded. And now, oh, sometimes it flings out and that's okay. Basically, you want to turn your light on. And then, uh, it keeps flinging out. I don't know what is it? it keeps flinging out. Sometimes it does that. It's kind what of are you feeling? hard to operate. Not really good. Not really good. Why doesn't Grandma babysit Linux? She doesn't care, but still, 
Like, it's my responsibility as a mom to be here for my sick child. I shouldn't just leave him. You understand that? Yes. Ma, why does this thing keep popping out? Like, what? The thing, it, like, it keeps popping out. I don't know, baby. You'd have to ask Daddy. Basically, it doesn't have a grip. Ah! Maybe it's because I have. Thing. Sorry if it's taking so long, guys. It's just. Let me, Ma. Uh... Okay, it looks like I got it ready. Let's see what is inside, boys and girls. So basically, I have to adjust it. I have to adjust this microscope so I can see it better. Let's see. I got it. Okay. There you have it, wait. There you have it, even though you can't see it. There are some little lines. There you have it. That is how you, s that is my microscope for today. Now, make sure you subscribe, like, and um, uh, so basically, let me tell you the other stuff. So, you have specimen jars. Two specimen jars. Huh? Okay, just one sec. And then you have the box that has labels. And then you have tweezers that barely work. And that's why I use actual tweezers. You capture almost any of your specimens in there. Just uh, be careful. You don't want to get any viruses in there. I'm <laughs> just kidding. All right. See ya. Bye.